Good evening, sisters and brothers, and uh, welcome to this evening's evening prayer. Today, of course, is uh, January the 11th, and Monday evening, and I trust that you are well and getting better. Uh, for those who have been sick, getting better, those who are still sick, we pray, we continue to pray for God's God's healing touch on your life, in your heart, so that you too will get better. Uh, we pray that our bodies, the Lord will in infuse our bodies with, with energy and vigor. And uh, this, this, this winter, quite a few people are, are ill, not just with COVID, but just with regular cold or flu. And uh, so we want to pray for them as well. And um, uh, sometimes we forget that there is a regular, regular cold and flu around. And that causes as much problem sometimes in our lives as this COVID disease is doing as well. So we continue to pray. We continue to pray. Let's, uh, let's begin with prayer. Oh God, make speed to save us. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. From the rising of the sun to its setting, your glory is proclaimed in all the world. Blessed are you, sovereign God, our light and our salvation. To you be glory and praise forever. You gave your, your Christ as a light to the nations, and through the anointing of the Spirit, you established us as a royal priesthood. As you call us into your marvelous light, may, your life, may our lives be a witness to your truth and our lips never cease to proclaim your praise. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. Amen. And uh, the hymn, the hymn, O worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness, Bow before, bow down before him, his glory proclaim. With gold of obedience and incense of lowliness, kneel and adore him, the Lord is his name. Lo, at his feet lay thy burden of carefulness. High on his heart he will bear it for thee. Comfort thy sorrows and answer thy prayerfulness guiding thy steps as may best be for thee. Fear not to enter his courts in the slenderness of the poor wealth thou wouldst reckon as thine. Truth in its beauty and love in its tenderness, these are the offerings to lay on his shrine. These, though we bring them in trembling and fearfulness, he will accept for the name that is dear. Mornings of joy give for evenings of tearfulness. Trust for our trembling and hope for our fear. O oh, worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness, Bow down before him, his glory proclaim. With gold of obedience and incense of lowliness, kneel and before him and adore him. The Lord is his name. Amen. It's a great hymn. And um, as I said, many times we sing these hymns, but we don't, we don't pay much attention to their words. Great words indeed. Worship the Lord, kneel before him, and give him praise, because the Lord is his name. That this evening may be holy, good, and peaceful, let us pray with one heart and mind. As our evening prayer rises before you, O God, so may your mercy come down upon us to cleanse our hearts and set us free to sing your praise now and forever. Amen. And the collect, Almighty God, in Christ you make all things new. Transform the poverty of our nature 
by the riches of your grace and in the renewal of our lives make known your heavenly glory through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And uh, here is an evening prayer. Come my light and illumine my darkness. Come my life and revive me from death. Come, my physician, and heal my wounds. Come, flame of divine love, and burn up the thorns of my sins. Kindling my heart with the flame of your love. Come, my king, sit upon the throne of my heart and reign there. For you alone are my king and my God. Amen. And our psalm for this evening psalm 34 psalm 34 psalm 34 Sip my tea. <clears throat> i will extol the lord at all times his praise will always be on my lips i will glory in the lord let the afflicted hear and rejoice. Glorify the Lord with me. Let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord and he answered me. He delivered me from all my fears. Those who look to him are radiant. Their faces are never covered with shame. This poor man called and the Lord heard him. He saved him out of all his troubles. The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him, and he delivers them. Taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man who takes refuge in him. Fear the Lord, you his holy people, for those who fear him lack nothing. The lions may grow weak and hungry, but those who seek the Lord lack no good thing. Come, my children, listen to me. I will teach you the fear of the Lord. Whoever of you loves life and desires to see many good days, keep your tongue from evil and your lips from speaking lies. Turn from evil and do good. Seek peace and pursue it. The eyes of the Lord are on the righteous and his ears are attentive to their cry. But the face of the Lord is against those who do evil. Blot out their name from the earth. The righteous cry out and the Lord hears them, delivers them. He delivers them from all their troubles. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted and he saves those who are crushed in spirit. A righteous person may have many troubles, but the Lord delivers him from them all. He protects all his bones. Not one of them will be broken. Evil will slay the wicked. The foes of the righteous will be condemned. The Lord will rescue his servants. No one who takes refuge in him will be condemned. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sisters and brothers, this is a great psalm to meditate on. Come, let us exalt his name together. Let us, let us praise his, let us praise him forever and ever. Let us exalt his name together. Let us glorify the Lord together. Why? Because he has done all these wonderful things. And um, we can't look at all the wonderful things, but do look at this psalm. It's beautiful. Uh, the Lord delivers us out of our sickness, out of our troubles. And verse 9, fear the Lord, you his holy people, for those who fear him lack nothing. Those who fear him lack nothing. The lions may grow weak and hungry, but those who seek the Lord lack no good thing. Fear the Lord. What is the fear of the Lord? He says, and brothers, Fear of the Lord is reverence for God, worship, respect, adoration, homage to God. Fear of God is, is that it giving him awe and, and respect and worship and adoration, recognizing that 
you cannot live without him. The fear of God is recognizing the importance of God in our lives. Taste and see that the Lord is good. Taste and see. Come in. Taste. Experience him. Taste and see. Experience God. How, it's one thing to, to believe this stuff. It's another thing to know it from my experience of God. Experience who this God is. Um, I'll read uh, Keller's commentary. How can we be delivered from all our fears? The answer is comprehensive. Build an identity that gets its significance or its glory or makes its boast, not from your accomplishments or your racial identity or your talent or your moral efforts or your family, but from God. In other words, we can only when we glory in the Lord, only when we boast in God can we find true significance and be delivered from our fears. Then and only then is the foundation of your self-worth secure and not subject to fears or shame. How can we get such an identity? By not just believing in God, but tasting, experiencing God's goodness in our lives through prayer and obedience and by comforting afflicted people with the comfort we have received until they can glorify God with us. This is the mission of every believer, to draw in others so that we together may glorify God. Lord, our anxieties, shame, and discouragement come when we try to make our boast in other things other than your goodness and unfailing love towards us. Teach us how to look to you and seek you until we know the radiance of your joy. Amen. Amen. Our evening reading this evening, New Testament reading particularly, is from Matthew's Gospel. Matthew chapter 21 from verse 1 to 17. Matthew 21 verse 1 to 17. <clears throat> Matthew 21. As they approached Jerusalem and came to Bethphage on the Mount of Olives, Jesus sent two disciples saying to them, Go to the village ahead of you, and at once you will find a donkey tied there uh, with her colt by her. Untie them and bring them to me. If anyone says anything to you, say, that the Lord needs them, and he will send them right away. This took place to fulfill what was spoken through the prophet. Say to daughter Zion, see your king comes to you, gentle and riding on a donkey, and on a colt, the foal of a donkey. The disciples went and, and did as Jesus had instructed them. They brought the donkey and the colt and placed their cloaks on them for Jesus to sit on. A very large crowd spread their cloaks on the road, while others cut branches from the trees and spread them on the road. The crowds that went ahead of them and those that followed shouted, Hosanna to the son of David. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest heaven. When Jesus entered Jerusalem, the whole city was stirred and asked, Who is this? The crowds answered, This is Jesus, the prophet from Nazareth in Galilee. Jesus entered the temple courts and drove out all who were buying and selling there. He overturned the tables of the money changers and the benches of those selling doves. It is written, he said to them, my house will be called a house of prayer, but you are making it a den of robbers. The blind and the lame came to him at the temple, and he healed them. But when the chief priests and the teachers of the law saw the wonderful things he did and the children shouting in the temple courts, Hosanna to the son of David, they were indignant. 
Do you hear what these children are saying? He, they asked him. Yes, replied Jesus. Have you never read from the lips of children and infants, you, Lord, have called forth your praise? And he left them and went out of the city to Bethany, where he spent the night. Amen. All right, a few points to pull out of this reading tonight. We know it's a familiar reading. It's the Palm Sunday reading where Jesus enters Jerusalem riding on a donkey, as it were, triumphant. Um, people shouting Hosanna, recognizing something about him that is fulfilling the prophecy of the Old Testament that the king would come gentle and riding on a donkey. So firstly, riding on a donkey is a sign of his gentleness. This king is not coming as a warrior king. He's not riding on a, he's not mounted on a steed, on a, on a great horse. He's coming on a humble donkey. So we know he's coming in gentleness. We know he's coming in humility. He's not a warrior king. He's a lover, not a fighter. <laughs> yes? So he comes, and all of this is symbolic. He comes riding on a donkey. I don't know if I've ever noticed before that there are two donkeys, you know, the, the colt and, and the foal. And, and I'm thinking, why did Jesus need two donkeys? I'm not sure what the other one was for. But anyway, um, we, we have him riding on at least one of them going in. To Jerusalem and and as he gets there the 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 religious people who are who have not received Jesus who haven't accepted him because he you know he was a he's a bit of a radical um uh, he they they were not happy to hear a to hear people and the children even the children in the marketplace were shouting Hosanna to the son of David as if it's like a song they are singing and um and Jesus pointed out to the, to the religious people, the chief priests and teachers of the law, that the children themselves are fulfilling prophecy. From, from, Psalm, from Psalm 8, um, it says, From the lips of children and infants, you have ordained praise. You, are, you have called forth your praise. So Jesus says these children are doing exactly what God said they are to do. They are fulfilling the prophecy that from children and infants, God is bringing forth the praise of his son. And um, yeah, and Jesus goes into the temple. So here, so here is a gentle, lowly, meek uh, savior king rides in. He goes into the temple and beats them all and say, get out. Um, so he comes in gentle, he comes in me, but there is something that angers him, something that was not right, something that, 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 that raised his ire of indignation, as it were. And he goes in and he, that's because they were selling in the temple. Now, as I've said in another verse, in another place, um, this, there's nothing particularly wrong with what they were doing. Is, is, is the fact that they, they were using the, the temple, the, the, this bit of the temple, for commercial purposes. And there's so much to, to pull out of that, sisters and brothers. Jesus, Jesus is um, driving out these people outside the temple was his, his, his condemnation, his judgment on what was happening there. He was condemning the commercialization of the faith. He was condemning the, the misuse of the temple. Uh, and so many things are going on here. Jesus, in doing this, was saying, as he said, my father's house is a house of prayer, and you have made it a den of robbers. Um, you, you, are, you are commercializing the, the truth of God. You are make you're using it as a means to make money, and and that in that 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 raised the eye of Jesus's indignation. I I sometimes wonder how he would feel about the commercialization of the faith today. 
uh, where people peddle the gospel uh, for money, who use the, the, the truth of God to raise money or to make money or to, to become rich. There are plenty of them all over the place. They're really false teachers and false prophets. They're all on the, the channels that, that you have in your homes. The point is, Jesus is indignant. That's the only time we get Jesus anger and violent, as it were. But uh, this, this, this particular defilement of God's temple. Uh, and, and sisters and brothers, you and I are the temple of God. So how are we defiling this temple? Uh, the body is the temple of God. My body is the, is the dwelling place of God. How am I defiling this body? Um, how do I, do I use my body, my physical structure, my mind, my, my hands, my feet? Do I use these things for God's glory? Or do I simply use my temple for, for myself? Do I commercialize my life? Do I only care about the material stuff? See what I'm saying? There's so much from just this, whole, this small act, you could say, this, this little act of indignation against, against the, the religious people of Jesus' day. Jesus, the only time he got violent and the only time he got, he got angry uh, was when the misuse of his temple, the Father's temple, and, and, and people using God's temple as a means to make profit. Let's pray. Let's pray, because we could go on for that. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, thank you. Thank you for this temple. Thank you, Lord, that in this body you dwell by your Holy Spirit, by grace. And so, Lord, we pray that you will give us the grace to use our temple wisely so that we will not simply care about commercialization and money and material stuff, but we will seek to use our temple for your glory, to use our temple for prayer and worship. As we, we said, come and bow before you because you are the Lord. And so, Lord, help us to, to use our temple uh, for, 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 for the benefit, for the glory of God, and not simply for our own glory. So Lord, we, we bring to you tonight uh, all this and uh, help us to help us, Lord, to, to be humble like our Lord, who comes on a gentle donkey into our lives. And so Lord, we pray that we pray, in a sense, the two, the two incidents are connected. We pray that He will ride in to our lives, in our hearts, and, and establish His throne and be the king and the Lord in my life, in our lives. So Lord God, we pray, ride in, Lord Jesus, ride in, gently ride into my heart and set up your throne and, and turn over the tables, turn over the, 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 the tables that are displeasing or unwelcoming to you. Lord Jesus, come, come Lord Jesus, and set up your throne in me. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We bring before you, O oh God, uh, again this evening, we continue to remember those who are, who are on our prayer list. We pray, Lord, for those who are sick and those who are recovering from sickness. We give you thanks. Oh, we give you thanks, Lord, for your goodness. We have been praying for those who are sick and Lord, you are bringing healing and we are grateful. Thank you, Lord, for, for giving strength and returning strength, physical strength, physical strength in the body and mind to our brother Noel and Maxine, our sister, our sister Pauline. Lord, thank you for bringing back strength in those bodies. And we pray, O oh God, that you will continue to bring back more strength every day. Strengthen them more and more, Lord. And may those bodies get stronger each day. Lord, we bring them to you and we ask for your help. We thank you for the help you have been 
so far and we continue to thank you that even as we pray we thank you lord we come with our petition but we come with thanksgiving to thank you for hearing our prayer so lord we continue to pray for them and others on our lips tonight we and in our hearts we keep keep them also in our prayers and so lord hear our prayer for all your children tonight and um and for all of us as we go to sleep watch over us tonight lord may your holy angels guard us as we sleep and give us all a restful night and help us lord all those who are suffering tonight bring healing bring strength to their bodies so that when they wake up in the morning they will feel much stronger in their bodies in their minds and they will feel much more rejuvenated and ready for another day and lord even all of us though we are not going anywhere it's because we are all locked down and we are all isolated as it were in our homes and we pray lord that you'll help us not to not to be lazy as it were but to get up and move about and to <clears throat> to give our bodies the strength the muscles to exercise the strength of our muscles so that we will not atrophy <laughs> while we are at home uh, during these times of lockdown so lord we pray help us we ask give us wisdom to know what to do and how to do these things so that we will not fall prey to the illness or any sickness not just covid but even the regular flu as it were lord may we not fall prey to these illnesses we pray and for those who have lord we ask for your healing touch upon them lord we we bring these to you tonight and we ask for your grace and mercy in sustaining us through the night in jesus name amen and so the evening prayer Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit for you. <coughs> for you have redeemed me, O Lord, O God of truth. Keep us, O Lord, as the apple of your eye. Hide us under the shadow of your wings. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins. As we forgive those who sin against us, lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen.
May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord look kindly upon you and give you his peace and his rest. Tonight, sisters and brothers, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Have a good night, one and all.